Hello everyone, welcome to Fashion For You. Today I'll show you how to stitch a simple kurti. I've cut this kurti in a simple way. This is my front side and this is my back side. The fabric which I have attached here is a leftover from my another suit piece. Then I took black color fabric and stitched it in the middle. up to here and then I have cut it in a simple way similarly I have attached this fabric on my upper shoulder to the back side this piece of fabric was little cut but this will go away when I will make my neckline first I will take my front side this is my front side first I will take this and make a neckline on front side. In my other video, I've shown you how to make a neckline. Similar thing I'm going to do here. This is fusion paper. First, I'll cut my neckline onto the fusion paper and then I'll attach this to my kurti. If you are beginner, you should follow the same way because this is the easiest way to give a nice finishing to your kurti. Otherwise, if you'll cut your neckline direct onto your kurti, then you would not be able to give a nice finishing to it. So it is always better you use this fusion paper for your neckline. This is my fusion paper. I have cut so many things out of this. So this is the shape which I have left with. I will use it for my neck. First I will take 3 inches from here and make a mark. I am going to make a round neck with a straight slit. The slit would be around one and a half inch long. The rest of the length I will make round shape. My neck length is 7 inches. First I will make a mark here. On 7 inches. And then I will take one and a half inch from here for my slit. make a straight line here also I'll make a straight line and then I'll make a curve and this is slit now I'll take half an inch here and make outer edge of this neckline. Now I'm going to cut this and as well as this. with a straight slit I'll give little little V kind of shape this is little V you can't even feel this is a V now I'm going to stick it Fusion paper is having a gum on one side, so I will stick it on this fabric. So I will stick it on this fabric. First, 
I'll stick it on one side. This got stick to it. For the other side, I'll measure six inches from here, and then I'll stick it. What happens? You've cut it on six inches, but if you'll we'll pull it little outwards, this can become seven inches as well. So it's always better if you have cut it on six inches. Measure six inches from here. Hold it like this, and then. This got stick now. Leave around half a inch fabric, and I'm going to cut this from outer side. I've cut this from outer side. I'll not cut this fabric. First, I'll stitch it from here, and then I'm going to cut this. I'll show you how. This is very easy way to make your neckline. This is my front side of kurti. I'll mark its center. This is the center line. Similarly, I'll mark scent line for this. Here, this is front side of my kurti. I have spread it facing upwards. Right side, right side is facing upwards. This I'll put. I can see this is my middle line, which I have made using iron. This should come exactly on the center line, and this center line I have to mark from here. First, I'm going to make a temporary stitch line straight downwards so that it is even to both the sides and then I'll make another stitch line over here. Kurti's right side facing up. I'm going to make a temporary line. Now I'll make a stitch line on the edge of this. Don't stitch over the fusion paper, you have to stitch on its edge. Means the two layers of fabrics only. Here in this slit you have to make little difference between this because you have to cut this fabric and turn it outside. Now 
I'll cut this from here. Don't cut the stitch line, only you have to cut the fabric. Now I'll turn this inside. Turn this inside. See, my neck is ready now. Now, from the back side. Take this fabric inside and make a stitch line. neck is ready now now I'll make my neckline for the back side I've taken front neck 3 inches so I'll take this one 0.25 inches less than the front side that is 2.75 inches I'll make a mark and back depth I'll take 5 inches I'll give a round shape I'll cut this now bias bending from back I'll cut bias bending from a back side this is little stretchy bias bending you can cut diagonally this is right side of my kurti First I'll join my shoulders and then I'll turn this inside. If I'll turn this inside and then I'll join my shoulders, this will not give nice finishing to it. This is my front side.
take this strip take this strip and turn it over this and then again turn it outwards when you will open it this will go other side so inner side and this gives nice finishing from for your shoulder when you turn it to the right side see this gives nice finishing for your shoulder stick turn now for the back side i'll turn this inside and make a stitch line is ready my shoulders are joined now now first i'll stitch it from the sides turn this inside on this line which i have marked i'll stitch it from here up to the slit line in the similar manner i'll stitch this from the other side now now i'll stitch sleeves first and then i'll attach sleeves to my kurti these are my sleeves i'm going to attach this fabric on the cuff take your sleeve facing right side downwards and then this fabric facing right side also downwards now turn this to the right side is it all clear abhi you do and and stitch it from here
Now turn this inside and make another stitch line. Now this is ready. I will now fold it and stitch it on the line which I have made while cutting. Now this is my sleeve. I have made inner cutting to this side. So. I'll, I'll put this sleeve inside from here. You have to match the inner cutting of kurti and inner cutting of sleeve. So that's why I am putting this sleeve to this side. Now This seam, this seam of sleeve and this seam of kurti, I have to match it but I will not match them absolutely. What I will do, I will take this stitch line of my sleeve and put it around half an inch to the front side. This is the stitch line for kurti and this is the stitch line for sleeve. I'm not going to coincide both of the seams. I'll put I'll take the seam of my sleeve and put it ahead, put it and put it half an inch ahead your kurti seam. This extra fabric you can turn it diagonally downwards and stitch it like this similarly for the sleeve turn it diagonally downwards and then stitch it in the and then stitch it in the seam and then I will go on and stitch I will go on and stitch it in a round way.
both of the sleeves now I'm going to make a hem at the bottom side bottom side here and then I'll fold it on the slits My kurti is now ready. If you have any query or doubt, you can comment or you can send me a mail. If you like my video, you can subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends. You can contact me through mail or Facebook anytime. I am there to help you. Bye bye.